What's up all my Ewoks, Tribbles, Droids, and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I am going to be talking about Daisy Ridley, the actress that played Mary Way Skywalker, uh, actually Palpatine, in the Disney fan fiction uh, sequel trilogy of Star Wars. And so Daisy Ridley did an interview with Entertainment Weekly on August 27th, and in that interview she uh, let drop that she wasn't getting much work, so uh, let's actually get into what she specifically said. Weirdly, at the beginning of the year, nothing was coming through, she continues. I was like, ah, no one wants to employ me. Ridley later remarks how there were actually loads of things that I auditioned for at the beginning of the year and didn't get any of them. I had that moment of, oh god, and then just thought everything's in it uh, in its right time, she says. By the end of February, early March, things started picking up. It was around uh, that time that she got a call about 12 minutes, which is a video game that she continues to go on in this article. Now, so, um, smallest violin in the world for the poor, poor millionaire who, uh, you know, went to acting school, got uh, a job being, you know, the main character of the Disney fan fiction sequel trilogy of Star Wars. Poor, poor millionaire that you were out of uh, work for one month, that you, that you didn't get the immediate calls from all of these big, you know, movies that are coming out. I, I'm the smallest violin in the world for you and your problems. Now, I originally saw this on Twitter from this Bounding Into um, Comics post. It says Daisy, reveal, uh, Daisy Ridley reveals work offers were scarce after Star Wars sequel trilogy concluded. Now, I commented and I said, because I wanted to I wanted to look into this, right? I'm like, huh, I, I bet you she's got some work. There's this magical thing called IMDb. So uh, I saw, I opened up IMDb, I see after Rise of Skywalker, then there's uh, The Dawn of Art, which she's the narrator for, then 12 Minutes, which is the video game that she was talking about in the interview, and then 11 upcoming projects. 11 upcoming projects doesn't uh, say to me that you're out of work. Uh, an a actor that's not being able to get any jobs means that that number should be zero, not 11 plus the two voice uh, jobs that she's got done since The Rise of Skywalker. Also, you have to understand what what time, what's going on in the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. COVID. COVID. Everyone is on lockdown. You get, sh you know, frowned upon if you freaking leave your house at this point. So um, the fact that she's doing uh, voiceover work, which is some of the safest work that you can do as an actor or actress right now in Hollywood, doesn't seem that bad to me, especially with 11 upcoming projects, and we will get into those in a minute on what she's actually doing. So what I said was, two voice jobs and 11 upcoming projects doesn't seem to be bad or a struggle to me. I think what she means is that she wasn't in demand for high-profile roles like she thought she'd be. Yeah, she thought that she was going to get calls from Marvel, calls from, you know, all, all of these, you know, movies for big blockbuster hit films, but she didn't. She's getting other jobs, but again... What is going on in Hollywood? What is going on in the world right now? All the sets are closed because of, guess what? <coughs> the freaking plague. So it, it doesn't seem like this is that bad. Then somebody, uh, oh my god, it was a it was a long thing, but then somebody was like, oh, well, voice acting is looked down upon by, you know, act, like, actors. And I'm like, tell that to Morgan Freeman and James Earl Jones. But so, let's actually go take a look at, uh, Daisy Ridley. So this is Daisy Ridley's IMDb page, as you can see, Daisy Ridley. Uh, you just scroll down and you cut. Let's go look at some of these projects. Now, I did kind of cover this on the Matriarchy, uh, which is uploaded onto my secondary channel, that's Star Wars Girl Live. And uh, you can go uh, watch the full live stream where me and Jesse Milestone, my co host, uh, you know, really go into this. But so let's look. So, uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Okay, that was the last movie she was in. And then COVID uh, happened and the world got shut down. Uh, makes sense. Uh, the Dawn of Art, where she's a narrator for 12 minutes, which again is the video game that she was interviewing about. And uh, so Chaos Walking, which is she is Viola... Uh, Ida. Okay, let's let's open this up. Let's take a look at that. So this is a movie that she's in where she, uh, a dystopian world where there are no women and all living creatures can hear each other's thoughts in a stream of images, words, and sounds called noise. So let's see. 
Who, no women, but she's in it, right? Okay, so Tom Holland, Daisy Ridley. Oh, oh, the dude that played Hannibal Lecter in the one. Uh, I, I don't, I didn't like the Hannibal Lecter series. Or it, it's called Hannibal, but I, I didn't like it. Nick Jonas. Okay, and then uh, apparently there's no women, but there's another lady. Um. And look, another lady. There's not supposed to be any women in this world, but they have a lot of women in this cast. But uh, she seems to be the leading lady in that. That doesn't say to me uh, another, uh, you know, with a, a freaking Marvel star, Tom Holland, with a uh, Jonas brother, with the, you know, the my version of the knockoff Hannibal Lecter. Uh, that doesn't say to me that you're not working in a high profile role. You're a leading lady in this movie. But so let's go back. So then she's in the Lego Star Wars, uh, and she voices Mary Ray Sue. Asteroid Hunters, where she's the narrator of this documentary short, The Inventor, and so The Inventor is actually an animated movie that's coming out, where, uh, let's get a little background on it, uh, inventing flying contraptions, war machines, and studying uh, cadavers, Leonardo da Vinci takes on the grand meaning of life itself with the help of fr a French princess. So she is going to be a French, so the only two people that are cast in this movie is Leonardo da Vinci and the princess. She's the leading girl uh, in this movie, in this animated movie. She's, uh, and I like how it's a French princess and she's British. Lovely there. But okay, so the, the last movie we looked at, she's the leading lady. Next movie we look at, yes, it's a cartoon, but she's the leading lady. Uh, okay, so we got Astrid Enders, the inventor, Colma. Let's look at Colma. Colma! Um, it's going, uh, a, a remarried widow is given an unusual offer to relive her first love as the end of her life draws closer. Okay, so, uh, the star of this movie is Daisy Ridley. She's the only one cast in this movie. So, um... Again, looking for work. She's having a hard time looking for work, yet she's the leading lady in three films so far that I've shown. This doesn't seem like somebody is not getting work. And uh, this uh, was updated in 2019. So this was updated last year when they put her in that she was going to be cast in this role. So she's known since last year. Let's see with this one too. Or does it say updated? Uh, updated, updated 2018. Okay, uh, what, what about this one? When was this updated? 2017. So she's known that these movies are going to be coming out for a while now. And uh, as far as uh, the coma one, yeah, it, it seems like she knew uh, October last year that she was going to be getting these roles. But oh, it's January when she wanted all these new roles to come in. It's like, I don't even know if she's... Um, Okay, it's in production, so she hasn't even filmed this yet. She hasn't even fin filmed Colma yet. And so let's see what the last one, A Woman of No Importance. So this is the story of an American spy, Virginia Hall, who worked for the British intelligence during World War II. Now, Jesse and I actually did look into this, and this movie seems pretty fucking interesting, where she has to go be a double agent in Nazi Germany. It sounds like a very compelling story, and I said this is probably going to be like the Oscar movie, because uh, it's a bi biography, drama, and war. This seems like it's going to be one of those movies. And again, uh, who is the only person cast in this? Oh yeah, it's Daisy fucking Ridley. So smallest violin in the world for this poor, poor millionaire who doesn't get all the jobs she wants. Yet, okay, leading lady of a World War II bio biopic drama movie. Uh, leading lady of a romance movie, a drama fantasy thriller. Okay, uh, it's smallest violin in the world for you and your problems. Oh, you're gonna be a princess in an animated movie? You're probably gonna have Barbies made of you? I mean, you already have them for Ray. Oh my god! Smallest violin in the world for you and your problems. Oh my god! You're gonna be like the uh, looks like from this picture, the love interest of the new Spider-Man in this one uh, movie where apparently there there's no women and you're the only woman in existence. Oh my god! Smallest violin in the world for you and your problems not having jobs during covid when filming is shut down and you are the lead in what was that four movies that i just read off and then you have these safe jobs which are doing narration oh my god what a terrible life for the poor poor movie star how terrible you know for an actor or actress to say that they're not getting any jobs 
I wouldn't expect to see any jobs on this roster for me to believe that. But no, she's got plenty of jobs. She's going to be just fine. She's the leading lady in every single movie she's been cast in since the rise of Skywalker. So don't give me this bullshit. This is... This is... Uh... You know, you want to complain with your first... This isn't even first world problems. This is like one person of the world problems. It's like, oh my gosh, they brought me... They brought me bottled water instead of bringing it to me in a gold cup. Oh my god. Woo! Like, really? Really? This is ridiculous. And guys, if you want to go through and read the Bounding Into Comics article, the link is in the description below, as well as if you want to read the Entertainment Weekly interview. And if you want to go check out Daisy Ridley's IMDb, just go into IMDb and uh, type in Daisy Ridley's name. But uh, guys, let me know what you think about this uh, in the comment section of this video. Uh, what do you think of her being uh, the, the lead, uh, ro you know, the girl in a, a, a romantic... Uh, movie uh that's going to be a drama fantasy thriller and i i actually thought it kind of seemed like the titanic where it's like an older woman reliving her first love sounds a lot like the fucking titanic uh you get the woman that's a spy uh, in world war ii uh and then you get the the princess movie where you get to be with leonardo da vinci which they actually already did that in ever after with drew barrymore where she's cinderella and leonardo da vinci is in it uh and the dude that was the prince is now the dad and bat women it's sad uh and then uh the this movie where she's the the only woman in a world without women sound uh, smallest violin in the world for her and her problems but anyways guys let me know what you think about daisy ridley and her her poor poor first i shouldn't even say one percent of the world problems and uh until next time everyone i hope you have a great rest of your day morning evening afternoon wherever you are in the world and may the force be with you because we are really 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 gonna need it bye everyone What's up, everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and I have an Etsy store, so if you've ever wanted to own a print of my artwork, this is the place to go. As you can see, I have a lot of recognizable characters, from horror films, to heroes, to Star Wars characters. Some of the notable characters I have on here are Darth Vader, which I did a couple live streams painting, so you can own a print of this painting. I also have Luke Skywalker, the binary sunset version, one of my favorite scenes in the original New Hope movie. I have Darth Maul, which Ray Parks himself actually complimented me on Instagram. And then last but certainly not least, Ahsoka Tano. So if you want to own any of these prints, go right on over to my Etsy store. Again, that's the art of Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short. Thank you everyone and have a great rest of your day. What's up everyone? I have a P.O. box, so if you want to send me some mail, go ahead and send it to Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short, at P.O. box number 28171, Santa Ana, California, 92799871. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much.